Hey everyone, so today is going to be an agenda organizational video. Now, before anyone says anything, I did get a haircut. I got a couple inches chopped off. Well, actually just like half an inch. Just the dead ends. And But then I got bangs, so I haven't really played around with them too much. Um, I haven't really found a style that I like with the get. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. Um, back in high school, I made an organizational video about how to organize your agenda. And since then, I have come into college, and I organize things just a wee bit differently now. So I thought I would make an updated organizational video. And I'm going to first start off with the agenda that I have been using. I have been using the Lily Pulitzer agenda, and it just looks like this is the pink one um, from this year. And um, they, have, uh, they have four different styles, and this is just one of them. I really like this one. They have also a navy blue, a sky blue, and one that's kind of like more multicolored. But, um, so yeah, it just has a pink, I mean a white strap that keeps it shut. So when you take it off, um, you're left with this kind of like a folder here, um, that you can just put stuff in there, and then it comes with some Lily Pulitzer stickers, and then your agenda begins. Now this, um, if I remember correctly, was $25, and, um, I definitely think it was worth every penny because it is really, really colorful, really bright, really fun. I really like it, and it just kind of makes writing it a little bit better. Then we have notes, and then um, I don't really want to show you my notes, but I kind of just have like a class schedule here. I'm covering up my professor's names, but um, I have like like the time and the course, and then I have the where it is, and then the professor, and I have. I have it broken down like every single day. That was to help me at the beginning when I, you know, didn't really know what classes I had. And then um, on the other side, I have my student ID, my email, and my PIN number for school. And then at the bottom, I just have actually um, a key to what each color means and it's kind of hard to show you because it has like my name and last name printed everywhere and where I live so but okay but pretty much I have an um a color coding for my agenda now and green is for school blue is for ROTC pink is social orange is kind of miscellaneous and purple is my YouTube videos so this is the month of November and this is um just the overlay out okay well as each day passed I just put like a yellow mark through it um, with a highlighter, and then um, in each day I would have, you know, color coded. So this is blue, so it was ROTC, and it was like help um, the ROTC woman at 9.30 or whatever. And then this one was, um, let's see, Chinese is also in red, so I have Chinese table at 5 o'clock. And then um, we have sign up for classes, and then I had like a Thanksgiving break, which is in green. And so I just kind of color coded that way to kind of help me and like I, when I bought Christmas present I put it in pink because that's a social kind of thing um, and then on the side I put video ideas that I want to um, film in purple so that kind of helped organize me um, it also does come with a weekly setup um, here's a page that kind of has a lot of the colors in it and I don't really highlight specifically with any colors, I just kind of highlight whatever, but um, I don't really color code the weekdays, I just kind of like to put bright colors everywhere, but um, I do highlight tests or quizzes at the top, um, or any kind of project that's due, and then after the day's over, I just put a mark through it, and I don't know, I just like having different colors, it kind of keeps my attention. I'm still a sticky note fanatic, I love, I still love sticky notes, and if you watched my last video, you know that. Um, I don't have any sticky notes in... Um, my agenda right now. I do have one sticky note here actually. Um, this is kind of random. It's just kind of one something I want to do for a YouTube video. So if I have a meeting with a professor, I will put it on a sticky note and stick it the time, the date, and where on whatever day I have to go. And um, it more po it pops out to me more than highlighting it because highlighting is for projects and quizzes and tests, whereas a meeting is actually um, used as a sticky note. And sometimes what I do, which um, I don't have any sticky notes on my agenda right now because after that day is over and after that thing is over, like the meeting, I'll take out the sticky note and I'll go recycle it. But something that I also do with sticky notes is even though I have like a, 
a couple of things I have to do, like homework assignments, I don't necessarily want to do them in the order that I have the classes. So for example, I have chemistry, Chinese first, then chemistry, then humanities, so I write the homework down that way. But when I do the homework later that day, I don't necessarily want to start off with Chinese because it takes me the longest. So I'll take a sticky note and I'll write, um, I don't know, humanities first because that takes the least amount of time, and then chemistry, and then Chinese. And I'll just write down the order in which I do it and I put the sticky note on top of the date. That way I know which one to do first for myself. So um, that's pretty much all I've been doing for my organization at college. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. But um, anyway, so... This is just an updated agenda organization, kind of a shorter video, but I hope you liked it and I hope that it helped you. And I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye!